My name is Mimi from Mimi's Organic Eats, and today I'm going to share five organic ingredients that will transform your baking. So if you don't buy organic now, or you're on the fence on whether if or not you should for your baked goods, I'm going to explain why these five simple ingredients are gonna be worth buying organic. The first ingredient is butter. This is the backbone of so many baked goods, from flaky pie crust to buttercream frostings and to soft and chewy cookies, you need butter for your baked goods. So why is it important to buy organic butter? Butter comes from cows, and if you're buying organic, then those cows are grazing on farmland that is free of synthetic pesticides, the cows are free of antibiotics, and so much more. So what does this mean for your baked goods? This translates to a creamier butter texture and a more pure and complex flavor in the butter of your baked goods. The higher fat content and freshness of organic butter will also improve the texture and flavor of those baked goods for that melt in your mouth cookie that you absolutely love. So organic butter is gonna make your baked goods taste richer, creamier, and just overall elevated. My top pick for organic butter is Organic Valley. I use it all the time. We just buy this one Organic Valley salted butter for everything from sweet to savory. The next ingredient I'm gonna talk about is sugar. You cannot have baked goods without sugar. Sugar is also known as cane sugar in the organic space because it's in its more pure form. And because organic sugar is in its more pure form, it's less processed. And so therefore it retains more of the molasses from the actual sugar cane. So this could result in a better tasting baked good that doesn't taste overly sweet, where it just has that right amount of like sweet balance. And so that's why I always use organic cane sugar in my baked goods. And this also goes for light brown sugar, dark brown sugar, and molasses. Anything that comes from the sugarcane plant, you're gonna be better off buying organic. It's gonna be less processed. It's gonna have a more true natural sweetness versus being that overly sweet that you maybe can't eat too much of or that doesn't just taste right. Some of my top picks for organic sugar are going to be Florida Crystals. They are actually a regenerative organic, which I absolutely love. Wholesome is also a really great brand. I used Wholesome at my bakery for over a decade and I still buy their stuff today. And then Relative Foods is a new company that I just recently found out about, but they're a family owned company in the Midwest, which I absolutely love. And they make organic cane sugar and brown sugar as well. I will put all the links in the description for you guys. The third ingredient I'm gonna talk about is organic spices. This can be anything from cinnamon to nutmeg to cloves to cardamom, any sort of spice that you're putting into your baked goods. Those spices are gonna add warmth and coziness and delicious flavor to your baked goods. So it's important to buy organic for your spices because they are used in baked goods for one reason, and that is flavor. And I always say that organic ingredients have more flavor than conventional ones because they're just less processed. It's that simple. So using spices that are organic are gonna be less processed and you're also gonna get a higher quality spice that is gonna result in a more pure flavor in your baked goods. Plus, organic has higher standards than conventional products, so you're going to get a higher quality spice and you're probably gonna get companies that care a bit more about how they're making their spices. And if you heard about the cinnamon in the media recently, you may be wondering about your other spices as well. So one of my favorite companies that I've been using for such a long time, I used them before I even had my bakery. I used to use all their spices in my bakery. I still buy them today online. It's Frontier Co-op and they make amazing organic spices and I'll link them in the description below. The best thing is they're a co-op. I love co-ops because anyone can join and you can even get some discounts even if you're just shopping for your home like I do now. And I've also talked to them and they have assured that their spices meet the standards of the American Spice Trade Association as well as New York State standards for lead and spices. So if you're worried about that, I recommend Frontier Co-op and this is not even a partnership or an ad. I've never worked with them. I just have bought from them for a very, very long time and I love all their spices. So I will link that in the description below. The next ingredient that I'm gonna talk about is flour. And I'm a huge fan of flour. I use it most of the time I bake goods, even though I do like to make gluten-free stuff too, but I really love a classic cookie made with flour. I love cakes that are made with flour. I love everything that's made with flour. But flour is an ingredient that I highly recommend buying organic. When you're buying organic flour, you don't have harmful chemicals or pesticides or GMOs in the wheat. 
and that's a really big deal for flour. Leaving out those ingredients will result in flour with a more pure and natural taste and texture, and you will avoid those enriched flours. If you see flour with the label enriched on the packaging at the grocery store, I would definitely stay away from that. That means that the flour was most likely grown using GMOs and all the nutrients have been stripped out of it in the farming process. Therefore, it had to get added back into it to pass off as flour. And so that's one of the things with flour that just really gets me where they're farming and they're tilling and they're doing all these things to the flour where they're really stripping the flour of its natural nutrients. And so, and then they're adding it back in there because they have to pass it off as flour. So that's why I really believe in natural organic flour. And buying from a smaller company is even better when it comes to something like flour because they know their farmers. And one of my favorite brands is Karen Spring Mills. And they are up in Washington. They're a flour mill up there. They work with farmers that they know. And they're passionate about working with their farmers and growing wheat that is organic and free of GMOs and has like amazing taste and texture in your baked goods. It's what I use all the time. I will link their website below so you guys can check them out as well. But using organic flour in your baked goods will really elevate things like breads, cookies, cakes, where flour is kind of one of the star ingredients. The last ingredient I'm gonna talk about is probably my all-time favorite ingredient for baking. It's chocolate. I would put chocolate in literally everything if I could. Snickerdoodles with chocolate, yeah sure, sign me up. I would eat those. <laughs> But jokes aside, choosing organic chocolate for your baked goods is going to be a game changer, guys. Chocolate comes from cocoa beans, and if you're choosing organic chocolate, then that means those cocoa beans were grown sustainably without harmful chemicals and pesticides. And that's a big deal in the flavor department of chocolate. You will definitely notice the difference in taste if you are eating an organic, fair trade chocolate bar versus just any old chocolate bar that you find at the store. Also, organic chocolate and even cocoa powder is gonna have less additives, therefore retain more pure flavor, like I was saying before with organic ingredients. So some of my top picks for organic chocolate are going to be Equal Exchange. I love Equal Exchange because they're a fair trade chocolate company, so that goes even beyond organic. And they also make amazing semi-sweet chocolate chips that are naturally vegan, and they have so few ingredients. They are my go-to for everything whenever I'm using chocolate chips. And if I'm choosing chocolate bars or if I want like a flavored chocolate like a toffee, an almond, a maple or something more fun like that, then Lake Champlain is going to be my top choice. They are a certified B Corp and they make the most amazing organic chocolate bars. They are so good. Plus they make all the fun and festive organic chocolates for the holidays. Like they have little snowmen, they have turkeys, they have Santa Claus. So if you want something like a little more festive and extra fun, Lake Champlain does a really great job making this in organic versions. So I hope I've convinced you to at least buy these five simple ingredients in organic for your next baking adventure. For more baking tips and tricks, be sure to hit that subscribe button and join me next time in the kitchen.